Welcome to Ozul, a world ruled by wizards known as Sacromancers and populated by other races. You are a Sacromancer out to conquer the world and have an army of monsters at your disposal. Use your monsters to defend against invading armies and eliminate the other Sacromancers. Capture your enemy's citadels to win. I'm going to go over the rules really quick for Sacromancer. I'll put a link down below to a more in-depth how to play by the designer. I just wanted to give you an idea of how it plays before I give you my thoughts. To set up, each, each player will put their citadel in a citadel spot, their Sacromancer with their citadel. They will draw six monster cards, find the corresponding tokens, and put those around their citadels. Choose who to go, goes first how you want. You always can roll off. So this player will go first. I will say this is a prototype version of the game, and I am using my own dice. So on a player's turn, we're going to jump to this player, though. On a player's turn, first thing they do is the protection phase. So they are going to look in their hands, and they can play one spell that has that little citadel icon on it. There's various different things you can do. This one is Dark Summoned. You can choose one of your citadels, draw a monster card, and place its monster token adjacent to chosen citadel. So that is one option that you can do in the protection phase. Other thing you can do is you can put a sanctuary token where your Sacromancer is. So if your Sacromancer is there, you can put a sanctuary token right there. After the protection phase is the repositioning phase. You, can, you have up to three movements. So you can go one, two, three. You can go one, two, three. One, two, three. However you want. Most monsters move one. There is one that moves two, and that is shown here. This monster can travel up to two hexes each time they move the shadow knife, which, is, which are these. So he could go one, two, three. Once they move out of your area, though, you need to put a control cube on them. If you don't have any control cubes, they can't leave your area, and they got to stay in where your citadel is. If you have monsters that are adjacent to each other, still in your area, you can move the control cube. After repositioning, if you have monsters that are in the same hex, they are going to fight. If you have your Sacromancer in the same hex as a monster, they're going to fight. If a monster is in the same hex as a Sanctuary, or if your Sacromancer is in... A citadel location. How combat work is if the monster is able to cast spells or if your sacromancer is involved in the combat you will look in your hand and you can play cards with the attack symbol on them. You're going to each person is going to put one face down and then they will reveal them and then carry them out. If they have the axe icon, they increase your attack strength. If they have the shield, they increase your defense. If they have words on them, you follow the action listed on the words. You then are going to be doing opposing d12 rolls. The attacker is going to add a value in the axe to their roll. The defender will add in their shield amount. Whoever has the highest total wins and the other monster is removed from the board. Or in the instance of a Sacromancer losing, he will go back to the nearest Sanctuary token as long as he's not on the spot with the Sanctuary token. Otherwise, they will go back to their Citadel. You're going to resolve all combats that are going on. You're going to do in the order of the monsters are going to do all their attacks first. Monster on Monster, Monster on Sacromancer, Monster on Sanctuary, and then... The Sacromancer attack, attacking the monster, attacking another Sacromancer, attacking the Sanctuary, attacking the Citadel. After the combat phase, you are going to do the replenishment phase. If you have more than five spell cards, you're going to discard down until you have five. Then you can discard up to three of your spell cards that you do not want, draw until you have five cards in your hand, and it's your opponent's turn. The game ends when one player controls all citadels. All right, let's hear my thoughts. So that was a brief how to play for Sacromancer, light strategy board game of wizards, spells, and monsters. So this one, as it said, light strategy for 
units on a map moving around combat. Very small rule book. Not many rules. There's really no like, well, what if, can this person move to these hexes because of this terrain? Nope. Move around, attack, roll d12, possibly cast spells, done. Where the strategy and intricacies lie is moving around your monsters, utilizing those monster special abilities. There's one that you can move up, and then when he engages in combat, he can basically just teleport a monster right next to him. So you can send him over, just do a bunch of combats, and just all of a sudden bring all your units over. Moving your Sacromancer with your monsters, so that way when they attack, they have to go through a bunch of different combats, and you have a higher likelihood of succeeding. Maybe building up a bunch of units and just coming slowly in a wave. When do you drop your Sanctuary tokens? you got three of them. So you can't just go willy-nilly and place them everywhere, but making sure that you place them. But then if you wait too long to place one, maybe your opponent's going to run up and try and smack your Sacromancer and knock them all the way back to your Citadel, and you lost all that progress. So, like I said, the strategy doesn't come from memorizing the rule set and having to do this big, crazy rules and rulers and all this. No, it comes from how do I want to manage these six units that I have. And then there's cards that let you get more units. So like I said, you can amass that army and move it over. The artwork conveys the theme, this very dark, fantasy, mystical area. The artwork is phenomenal. Again, this was a prototype, but I'm pretty sure most of the artwork is done. And I believe I heard the uh, board game designer himself did the art. So like I said, it's just really cool art. The theme just seems really cool. So Sacromancer from Shadow Myths.